Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you for this privilege we have to worship you, O Father. To sit in your presence no matter where we are, in our homes, in our offices here in this premises, O Father. We pray, O Father, that your presence remain with us, each and every one of us, wherever we are. Let your Holy Spirit move over us, touch our hearts, speak to us through the songs and to the word of God. Father, we dedicate this time to you, O Lord, this hour that we spend. We pray, O Father God, let let your word dwell upon us, O Father. Change our hearts and show us what we need to do in these times, O Father. You have a mandate for each and every one of your children. And we pray that we would realize it and do it, O Father, in these times. We thank you, Lord, as we sang that, Lord, though everything changes, situation changes, our lives changes, the way we work changes, the way we worship changes, but you never change. Your word says that Jesus, the same yesterday, today and forever. And we worship you, Father, because we thank you that we stand upon this solid rock, our Lord Jesus Christ, who never changes. There is no shadow of turning in you. Your faithfulness is from generation to generation. And you will see us through, each and every one of us, through these trying times. We know, Lord, that you will make us stronger during these times. As we wait upon you, our strength will be renewed. In Jesus' name, amen. We welcome you to this uh, online service. And, uh, and we be encouraged together to praise our God this morning. Let us sing a couple of songs and really uh, take this time to worship our God in spirit and in truth. Amen. worship our King. Come let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. See what our Savior has done. See how His love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. Every captive and break every chain, oh God, you have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great things. You've been faithful through every storm you've been faithful forevermore you have done great things and i know you will do it again for your promise is yes and amen you will do great things god you do great You conquer the grave, you free every captive and break every chain, oh God. You have done great things, we dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high, oh God. You have done great things, oh hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You free every captive and break every chain, oh God. You have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high, oh God. You have done great things. Hallelujah, God. 
above it all, hallelujah, God, unshakable, hallelujah, you have done great things, hallelujah, God, above it all, hallelujah, God, unshakable, Your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great things, you have done great things, oh God, you have done great things. continue to worship our God. He is the way maker, the promise keeper, the miracle working God and we are here to worship him with all our hearts from wherever we are. Let's lift our hands and our hearts to our God this morning and worship him for who he is and what he does in our lives. The way maker. He makes a way in the desert. He makes a way in all our situation and we will look to you God no matter what, no matter what. Praise you Jesus. Who you are, you are. 
way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 Even when I see it you're working even when i don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i don't see it you're working and even when i don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. We make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle work, promise keep light in the my God. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 That is. praise and father we thank you for this time we had to spend in your presence and we pray oh lord that your presence will continue to be with us through this entire service and to the end of the day and to the end of our lives we commit ourselves a father to your word this morning we pledge that we will give our undivided attention to your word not just to hear but to do oh father and we pray that you would help us in the doing we pray, O oh Father, for Pastor Tandy, who is coming to give your word, O oh Father. We receive it with all our hearts and faith. And we thank you. We ask you to bless him and to let your anointing, O oh Father God, be strong upon him as he delivers your word to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God has given us a, another opportunity to come to your presence, his presence with 
thanksgiving in our hearts to giving us one more day in our life as we are in the presence of god as usual i saying to you let us not lose the presence of god wherever you are don't lose the presence of god don't go here and there let enjoy the presence of god let our hearts be open to receive his unchanging word let your minds set to him i am here to listen from you shall we pray for the word today heavenly loving father we thank you for helping us to call you abba father the creator of the universe this is amazing this is wonderful this is beyond our understanding but by the holy spirit we can understand and we can receive that meaning of calling abba father father god yes you are our father lord the unchanging word you given to us to maintain this relationship as we once again able to come to your presence and meditate your word let that word be benefited to each and every one transform our life according to your plan and purpose let your name alone be glorified we thank you for hearing our prayers lord also we pray we are going through a difficult time but you said you will be with us you will be our god you will be our god you will be our god almighty all powerful lord there is nothing impossible to you i pray people who go through difficult time worries anxiety sickness facing the situation in in pain release your power release your power o lord release your power which you promised who over here let them receive it that power from above which heals us is comfort us is strengthen us which deliver us from all the fear let the fear be removed in jesus name people who are hearing let the fear be removed from their hearts and minds let the word of god let the unchanging presence of god be received each and every one who sit and hear today father we thank you thank you for hearing our prayer in jesus name we pray amen 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 
shall we read a portion for the meditation today is philippians the book of philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11 philippians chapter 2 verse 5 one verse let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god did not consider it robbery to be equal with god but made himself of no reputation taking the form of a born servant and coming in the likeness of men and being found in the appearance as a man he humbled himself and become obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross therefore god also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and those in earth and those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father hallelujah hallelujah i want to bring your attention and your meditation three ladders in a christian life we face three ladders ladders are used for climbing and coming down before i touch about that ladders paul is writing to philippians in chapter 1 theme in 27 we find the unity of the church the last portion of verse 27 it says with one spirit and one mind strive towards for the faith of gospel with the spirit and with one mind together the unity of the church this is what church of philadelphia strongly believe more than anything more than anything more than any doctrine be look into the christ and his gospel and to fulfill that that is our our team we took that is why i we always cling on that jesus christ is the lord we write on to the top of our podium and not only there we write on our hearts hallelujah jesus christ is the lord we are looking for that we are aiming for that we are all goal and our our our, our, our effort for to maintain that jesus christ is our lord to spread this to our relatives to our friends to our dear ones to our neighbors to our community we want to do this hallelujah hallelujah that is what paul is bringing continuing in chapter 2 also chapter 2 to also starting with that the first verse says therefore if there is any consolation in christ see christ is is god christ is his aim see if you have any consolation in christ if any comfort of love if any fellowship of the spirit if any affection and the mercy 
fulfill my joy who paul is telling i am aiming that so you philippians the church today it speak to you and me you church of philadelphia every members look into that fill my joy by being second words being like minded having the same love being one accord of one mind the third words let nothing be done through selfish ambition and conceit but in loneliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself let each of you look out not only for his own interest but also for the interest of others hallelujah either here for that unity for that same mind two things is mentioned that also i want to bring before i come to the ladders that is in the third words the two things selfishness and pride selfishness and pride this is the two things like a onion big huge onion in our life when we peel out the outer part we find another one underneath when we peel out the another one we will discover underneath there is another one it will go like that same way same way most of our habits and our our uh, behavior can be bring it down but selfishness and pride that is from satan that will continue until the death we are to overcome that we are called that is why when come to the third, fifth verse that fifth verse we always use that with verse let the mind of mind of christ be within me let the mind of mind be in you which was also in christ jesus what was that mind what was that mind that mind was without selfishness and pride we always use this word i used but i strongly believe this one word if you hold it tight pray to happen in my life that itself can transform a person that e that one word is cut can transform a person let this mind be in you let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus without selfishness did you find that in christ jesus yes that is why the six verse says he empty himself he empty himself he was not looking for himself he was not selfish to gain me to get me where he was he wanted to deliver me from the sin he was without sin same thing he is looking he wanted to give it in me this is the mind of christ for that he came not only that he gave victory over that sinful life that was the mind of christ hallelujah 
Hallelujah. For that, when I believe, this way I meditated and I bring that three ladders in front of you. What I experience also, same thing. From the Bible we find people, find that three ladders. When we accepted Jesus Christ, the first ladder which comes is, that is, the seventh verse, but made himself no reputation, taking form of bond servant and coming in the likeness of man. Coming down, the ladder you, you can see, I can see when I came to the Lord, I become born again, I become accepted Jesus Christ, I become start to coming to the hallelujah church. What I saw first, this ladder, first ladder we saw is Christ is coming down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a ladder we find. Whether we accept or not, this is a ladder you, we also use, have to use. Coming down. Where you, you are standing, I don't know. Where I am standing, what position I am holding, what degree I have, what wealth I hold, coming down. Leave the selfishness. Leave all pride. Jesus, being God, he emptied himself. He leave everything. He set everything aside. He don't looking for that. Because he want to come down. He is using that ladder. This is a question today. You and me are ready to use this ladder. Which Jesus was using. Coming down. Unfortunately, sorry to say this, even the church members, even the leadership, people around the world, they are not willing to use this ladder to come down, to come down. Jesus, when a man looking at Jesus, Accepting Jesus as his personal savior. He is bringing this ladder in front of him. Son, daughter, come down. Follow my stuff. Come down. Why? Why? Jesus is bringing this ladder before you. But... The great man and woman were using this till let us take a decision to use this ladder, choose this ladder. I want to follow the way Christ was using this ladder, coming down, leaving selfishness, pride. Whatever we are holding, whatever we are telling, I am so and so. Come down. Use this ladder. Hallelujah. When we come down, when we start to do this, there is another ladder is coming before you. That is bringing, Satan is bringing another ladder and telling you and me, son, you no need to go down. <laughs> People are going up. People are going, look at the world. Look at the other neighbors. Look at the other, other people. All are going up. 
Why you want to go down? Ha, go up. Here is the ladder. Here is the ladder. Hallelujah. You know what is the end of that ladder? I want my temple I will bring it to you. Hallelujah. There is two hallelujah. There is a young guy who was enjoying in his family atmosphere. He was so intimate to his father and his brother. He was enjoying everything. He was very good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was humble before his father. He was friendly with his brother. He was hallelujah, very good behavior with his hallelujah, neighbors. He was very good behavior with his servants. Such a hallelujah. Coming down and down this boy. All of a sudden, here comes the ladder Satan is bringing. His mind changed. He is asking his father, give me my share, give me my wealth, give me that hallelujah. What is hallelujah? What he was thinking? Oh, hallelujah. My father was a rich man. My father has so much wealth. My father has so much property. My father has hallelujah, big, big business. Hallelujah. I will get a half share. 50%. That is more than me to enjoy. Why I have to go down? Why I have to hallelujah, treat this way? Hallelujah. I will be hallelujah like some shall shake. I will be like a great man. Hallelujah. He thought hallelujah. The ladder which show you going up Making you great in this world. Grabbing all the wealth of this world. Position. Pissing uh, people. Doing business, whatever. And not against the business or anything. What you have to understand. The second ladder which Satan brings to you. You know to whom, about whom I am talking. The prodigal son. He was so intimate with his father. So good with his brother. He was very humble to the labor that the servants. He was very good in his neighborhood. He was going day by day by learning from God and his father and going down with that ladder which God showed him. Which Lord showed him. But hallelujah. All of a sudden he changed. Are you listening today? What you are looking for? What you are looking for? Name, fame, worldly things, worldly position, people pleasing you. What you and I need today. Look, he got wealth. He thought this is everything. Our fortune of his father's property, a portion of his father's business, a portion of his father's hallelujah, wealth, everything, he got it. He thought, this is more than enough. I am going up. I am going up. Why I have to serve? Why I have to serve my father? Why I have to serve my hallelujah in my house? Why I have to be in my I have everything now. Yo, 
why i have to be under my father he left his father he is away from his father now see this is what happening when you are using the second ladder which satan brings to you to go high and high hallelujah what was his thought in the beginning itself hallelujah when you look here uh, when satan look and god i want to bring my ladder over your hallelujah seat over your seat over your seat hallelujah this is a competition why church have competition today why hallelujah brothers have competition today by big business people hallelujah how competition two brothers india's richest hallelujah 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 businessman they two brothers they have competition they are fighting big india's best hallelujah and big hallelujah businessman why because they saw the second ladder they are climbing on that hallelujah hallelujah he thought he has full freedom he can do anything hallelujah the worldly freedom is hallelujah doing things according to our hallelujah our wish and our desire but spiritual biblical freedom is doing things according to god's plan and god's will hallelujah hallelujah this boy become hallelujah doing things hallelujah according to his plan he was hallelujah doing everything enjoying hallelujah yeah i don't have time to explain each and everything you are doing everything why i want to bring your attention youngsters hallelujah youth and dear hallelujah parents who are listening this listen carefully this ladder ends in destruction bible says devil comes to steal kill and destroy that is true and true and true if we use is ladder this boy using is ladder which come before you seems good going high high and high but end up with with looking after the pigs without food as it was a end that was a end which devil show a ladder hallelujah Paul is telling in Timothy when uh, Timothy, uh, Timothy before ends the second Timothy is telling about some of the people who help there who stand there with Halia Paul was a man who was going down and down and down with the same ladder which Jesus used that is why he is telling follow me nobody can say that nobody could say that up to now because he used the same ladder he used the same ladder and he teaches others to use this ladder there there he mentioned one man damas damas i want damas to come down and down with me with me but thou must love the world 
That is the word it is written. Lamas love the world. It includes everything. Richness, wealth, business, hallelujah. What all in the world, all rubbish, he loved it. Hallelujah. Sin is coming our life because we love sin. Not accidentally. Not accidentally. Not accidentally. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible says. Hallelujah. In James says, Hallelujah. Because of our desire, we go after. Dear brothers and sisters, which ladder do you choose? I bring it to the attention. Two ladders. Hallelujah. 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 There comes hallelujah. Another hallelujah. Another ladder. That no one else is bringing. That is a God Almighty is bringing that ladder. That is what we read. Therefore, therefore, what is that therefore? He humbled himself. He come down. He put away the pride. Hell, he come down. He was seeking my face. He wanted me more than anything. Therefore, my language, I am bringing a ladder. Therefore, I am bringing another ladder. God, therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Hallelujah. Who can bring it to that position? Wealth? Education? Your wisdom? Your craftiness? Your property? Your position? What? Nothing in this world, nothing in this world can bring you to that ladder. Only one ladder that Jesus bring it to the world. To hallelujah. To show you and me Dear brothers and sisters, are we willing? Are we willing to receive as he empty himself? To receive Jesus, to receive the Almighty, we are to empty ourselves what we are holding here. Hallelujah. Then we are going to find the third ladder that God himself is bringing before you. That is not to receive anything in this world. That is, that is for the heavenly things, the ever-ending things. Nobody can remove that. Nobody can restore that. Hallelujah. You want to find that ladder. Do we need to find that ladder? We have to use that first ladder which Jesus brought. Reject the ladder which the devil brings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unfortunately. Hallelujah. You and me, me also, we refuse to come down, to empty ourselves, to hold Christ in you. Hallelujah. That is why Paul in Colossians 1 chapter verse 27 writes, 
Hallelujah. The, hallelujah. The glorious Jesus is living in you. Living in you. Hallelujah. When we empty ourselves, Christ comes and hallelujah, fill that area. We empty ourselves. Without we empty ourselves, we are not receiving heavenly things. Hallelujah. Heavenly things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you know, you all know, David Nivingsen. David Nivingsen, when he wanted to go and serve God in Africa, he shared with his brother, as very friendly, his brother Thomas Livingston. He shared, brother, I am going to Africa to serve God. Oh, he was laughing and he was discouraging him. What, David, you want to go and die there? Nobody is going to know you. Nobody is going to hardly bury you. Nobody will be going to help you. <laughs> no, I am not going to. I want to be a big man. I want to be a great man. I want to be something in this world. This poor David Livingston. He left England. What all he has having. He left everything. He went and lived in a very low level. You know, you, what was the situation that time in Africa? When he died, African people, they asked, they wanted to bury him in their land because they love too much David Livingston. But when Kuhn heard this. Kuhn sent a team to bring Levi Livingston's body to England. And they compromised with that people. You take his spirit. His spirit is always with you. We are taking his body to England. And they brought it. They, and Westminster's Abbey where the kings and queens are buried. There, I went and see this place where he has buried. In there, where this royal weddings is happening. The same church, Westminster's Abbey, is laying. This Thomas Edison, Thomas uh, Livingston, was his brother, David Livingston's brother. He went to America. He became a senator. He's in a high position. America, senator is one of the high position. He became a high position. He died after some times. The MC was in the funeral service. He was. He was introducing this Thomas Edison. He was introducing this Thomas Edison is the brother of great evangelist and great man of God who served in Africa first time. Hall David Livingston's brother. Why I said this story? One went to take the worldly position. One went to use a hallelujah at the other ladder. The man who went to use the, the ladder which Jesus saw. He was highly exalted. And now, if it is here it happened, how much more in heavens, we are going to see this great man. Dear brothers and sisters, dear brothers and sisters, what help us to go high with this? Once you come down, 
what God will give you is the energy, is the energy, is the is is fuel. Hallelujah. This earth has attraction, gravity to hold the things back. One's plane is laying down. Plane, aeroplane laying down. One's fuel is inside and start firing. Hallelujah. No one, no earthly gravity can hold back. Hallelujah. It will fly. It will fly. It will fly and reach the point. Hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. Once you come down and down with this ladder and get the energy, get the fuel. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the one who is lifting you up and up and up and finish your goal. Hallelujah. 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 One plane is lifting from the Bahrain airport and one to reach London. Hallelujah. If that firing is going on, it not at a stop, surely, surely this plane will land in Hallelujah, England. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Once you come down with this ladder Jesus shown me and fill the fuel, get from above the energy, the power of the Holy Spirit is taking you up. What God has given. What point do you want to reach? They are going to take you there. Going to take you there. Hallelujah. 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 Are we ready for this? Hallelujah. Bible says in Hallelujah. James chapter uh, 4, 4, 1 and 2. Where do, where do wars and fights come among you? Do they not come from your desires? For pleasures that war is your members. From where it comes? The earthly body. Earthly desires. Which is Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. From Adam. The disobedience. It comes. You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come to the other ladder. Come down. And ask God. Is fill you. Is fill you to climb up to reach his goal, his plan, to fulfill his plan, to reach his earlier destination, which he has given you and me. Hallelujah. He's able to do that. Hallelujah. When you come to the 10th verse, it is say, say, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. This is a word. Peter also saying this. Come under his hands. Submit yourself. Hallelujah. Come down. Where? Where? God is going to fill you. Fill you. Hallelujah. Don't use any easy way. Don't use the other ladder to be become. Even in the spiritual level. In the spiritual side. To uh, 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 ministry. Or preaching, teaching, 
or doing any hallelujah any 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 uh, gift of uh, the, the uh, gift of the holy spirit to you don't never use never use until you come down with this ladder don't go where you are and go up come down that is what the bible teach that is what the hallelujah paul is telling in that is why paul is telling again and again in the third chapter he is telling the uh, philippians hallelujah i am coming again down i never hallelujah never 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 keep what i i am holding i want to i want to come again where i can come and receive more i want to know your power i want to know your resurrection power dear brothers and sisters i am going to stop here let us take a decision today a simple message with my view i explained to you may the god help each one of you to understand this jesus is setting before you a ladder that is for your good that is for your hallelujah hallelujah to go high and high that is not you condemn you that is not you hallelujah not to bring you down down you are going to receive you are going to receive more and more of energy more and more of his power more and more of his habit more and more of his hallelujah intimacy hallelujah let us let us take a decision to come leave that other ladder which is easy to climb and let we think is it to attain it is to perform no we don't want we don't want that we don't want hallelujah jesus himself is showing ah uh, he came 40 days he prayed fasting all of a sudden he fasting and he humbled down and he come to the hallelujah last level to receive from god for his father ministry holy father exaltation holy he come down all of a sudden the devil is bringing that harder to cook the things earlier you can attain everything you can hardly have everything you can have this earth holy you can have you can do the miracle and you can live holy you had never used miracle for his benefit he never used miracle for his benefit hallelujah hallelujah unselfish life he show to you and me he never used he was hungry he never do a miracle the plan the authority over the plants and everything he can bring hallelujah if he say that that fruits will come to his mouth but he was looking he was hungry he never do a miracle for him hallelujah he never do a miracle for him because he empty himself to show you and me is coming down and down to receive you and me in that place to show the other ladder how to reach there hallelujah 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 are we ready to empty ourselves what we are holding the earthly things what we are 
holding, filling in the hearts and minds the worldly things, fleshly things, our wrong desire and wrong motive. <coughs> hallelujah. People at this time, hallelujah, going, hallelujah, away from God. Some are nearing God. We, as Church of Philadelphia, we as a Christian, all around the world, are called to come close to God. Hallelujah. Come down, down, down with Jesus. And he gave the energy to go up and up and up in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. That is why Paul, when he wrote to Colossians, you are seated down high because you come down. <coughs> you come down with Jesus. You are lifted high. You are sitting in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. This is the belief. This is a faith. Hallelujah. The yeah, question is, until unless we are not coming down, how we can use the other ladder to going up and sitting with him? May the God Almighty help you and me to follow Lord Jesus' footstep. We are the children of God. We call Jesus our Lord and our Savior. Not only our Savior, our Lord, our Master. He's our teacher. He's the one who show how to live, how to be. Let us follow his footsteps. Let us use his ladder to come down, to go up with the ladder which God is showing you and me earlier. And we can take a decision. Never ever I use the other ladder which comes in between. Which comes in between. I never use as a prodigal son. Odamas. You can find some of the people who use that Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the God help you all to meditate this word and take a decision in your hearts. Brothers and sisters, you are, we are going through difficult time. But this is not a healing message. This is not a message give you direct blessing. But I am believing. I am fully confident. I am fully confident. If we have a mind of Christ to come down, surely God will fill you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that itself can heal your sickness. That itself can come bring you out of your hallelujah. This circumstance, what you're going through. That itself can hallelujah, hallelujah, to show you the right path. That itself can hallelujah, help you to any difficulty. Who all are going through difficult time today? If anybody is sick, Come down. Come down. He's waiting there. Who follow his footsteps. He said, whoever thirst, come to me. I came down. Come to me. I am meek. I am humble. I show you. Come to me. Are you with a heavy head? Worry is calling you today. Come to me. 
let you have that mind of Christ to coming down with this ladder is going to fill you is going to hallelujah help you today is is hallelujah great is more than enough for any situation any problem any sickness hallelujah that is what the great man of god's god's great man received hallelujah lord let us hallelujah humble ourselves to the lord shall we bow down the presence of god if you are if you are believe that you are in the presence of god you commit yourself to the hand of god whatever your problem lord i come to you i humble myself I leave my selfishness and pride and I'm coming down as you come down to receive us I leave the worldly things I leave the worldly ambitions fleshly desires and I come down Lord I want you I want you I want you only can show me the other ladder which really go up which really bring you to me in the satisfaction in comfort over need today and we do pray and we do pray father in heaven we thank you and praise you we thank you for this day thank you for helping us to come together in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ and share your unchanging word and give you glory and honor and praise us to you master this day you are given to us a beautiful day we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you as we hear we humble ourselves you know our frame who we are Lord we are from this earth there is nothing nothing great in us you are the greatest one we want you we want you we come down how you came down Lord we are not going to hold anything of this world will not cling on anything of this world freshly desires wrong ambitions all our wrong motivations i leave and we come to you master fill fill us receive the holy spirit lord send your spirit nothing can change us nothing and can take it to the the ladder which god has shown us so must jesus you only can here we are here we are lord your children wherever they are hearing let the presence of god be known let the power of god be known let the healing of god be highly manifested let the deliverance be take place let the deliverance be take place that the fear be removed the name of jesus let your name alone be glorified let your alone your name alone your name alone o oh lord we give all glory honor and praise to you in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen thank you very much shall we go 
in peace and the joy which God gives. Receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our Father God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. And the children of God say, Amen and Amen and Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.